Lord, you are a fountain of life, restorer of my soul. I worship you today. Lord, you are the fountain of life, restorer of my soul. I worship you today. Lord, you are. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. This is your host, Charles Zuta. And I want to welcome you to season two of the Fountain of Life podcast. But before we do that, I want us to just take a little bit of walk back in memory lane to see all that God had been gracious to help us to study in season one. So thank you first and foremost for your time. And let me just take a few minutes of your time to remind us of all the good things that God had helped us to learn in season one. We started off by looking at the bigger topic that is build yourself an ark. And the key lesson from that was the need for us to listen to what God says and to take personal responsibility in our salvation and in the way God wants us to go. So we saw that Noah built an ark to save his family from a pending doom, perhaps when there was not even a cloud in the sky. And for all the taunting, for all that his neighbors might have subjected him through, he was able to build this ark to save his soul. And then we also, in the same theme of helping ourselves in the ways of God and growing in the ways of God, we also looked at manna, God's recipe for nourishing body, soul, and spirit. And in there, we learned expressly that God, in Deuteronomy 8.3, he calls them to hunger so he will know what is in their hearts. But most importantly, to teach them to know that man does not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So it is a way of God helping us to know that we need daily obedience. We need to depend on him on a daily basis to nourish us. And it's the same way in the New Testament, how we need to hold God's hands and let him be the shepherd and we be the sheep to lead us into the green pastures and cause us to rest in the, by the stilled waters. The next two topics that we treated in season two, that is memory, monster or minister, or escape and then escaping the anxiety trap, how to worry less and care more, has to do with our personal needs. The way that life has dealt with us, irrespective of where we find ourselves, God has a provision for us. There is something in God that deals with anxieties and these two topics focused on the mind because every the, the mind and the will are the, 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 the gears that push everything else that is coming into our lives into action. So if we can win the mental war, we can win the war of our lives. So learning to deal with adversities of our past, learning to handle how our memories work, and how it affects us on a daily basis is very important for victorious Christian living. And then also learning not to be anxious, learning to depend on God and all of that. It's so crucial for our well-being, emotional well-being, you know, as people of God. Then we close season one with something, a topic I think is most important for every believer to learn and completely understand. That is a cross. God's eternal message of love and I want to it for humanity. Whatever message God has for us, he made sure that it was demonstrated unequivocally on the cross for us and we can't dispute it. And Jesus Christ accomplished everything for us and all of that is captured in one word, salvation. That is the all-encompassing word of what Jesus had accomplished for us. So everything that we talked about in season one, 
is predicated on what God had done for us through the cross. So it's just proper and fitting that we clearly understand what the cross symbolizes. And then we also saw towards the tail end of that series how we can be able to position ourselves to benefit from all that is all that has been done for us on the cross. As we begin season two, I want to show my greatest appreciation to the support that we have received from all the people who subscribe to our channel, to all who support this work. I say thank you so much. And uh, we take inspiration knowing that we are not just producing materials that is just out there, but it's something that is benefiting somebody and is blessing somebody. So thank you for all our audience who tune in Sunday after Sunday to share in these episodes and download it and then enjoy it. Continue to do that and I believe that it gives us the motivation to keep on doing what we are doing. I also want to show my sincere, sincere gratitude to the people who work behind the scenes to make sure that these episodes are produced and they are running well. I want to acknowledge Alem Osman who does all our technical work for us and is so instrumental in making sure that every Sunday we have an episode that goes out in various media channels to be a blessing to you. And also to show my sincere gratitude to Doris Osayado, who was very instrumental in shaping the vision for this podcast. So thank you so much, Doris. Thank you so much, Alem, for all your support. But above, I'm grateful to Almighty God for the grace that he's given us for this wonderful ministry. And I want to welcome you to season two of the Fountain of Life podcast. We are going to begin season two with a very, very wonderful topic. We are going to be talking about success. That is God's plan for success and his purpose for success. It's wonderful to look at that because the, the alternate word is prosperity. But I'm hedging my bet. I don't want to use the word prosperity because of all sort of uh, ramifications but that is really what it is so join me season two and let us ask the question does god really want us to be successful people what is his plan for success remember he wants us. that is what jesus died for to take away our lack take away our poverty and take away everything that stands against us so how does god define success or how does god define prosperity what does it mean to be prosperous that has become a very controversial word in the church but I believe that when we go to the Bible, we clearly understand what God means. So thank you so much for joining us and welcome to season two of the Fountain of Life podcast. May God richly bless you. Fountain of my life, I worship you today. of Matthew 11 28 to 29 come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest